Our psalm today, Psalm 93, is a shorter one. In the original Hebrew, it consists of just 45 words, and in Jewish tradition that was significant, as I'll explain later. But this psalm is a psalm of praise. God, the Lord, is proclaimed King, wearing robes of majesty, having established the world long ago. The image points back to the story of creation when God moved over the formless waters and established night and day and then separated land from the sea. In the scriptures, the sea is often seen as a symbol of chaos and disorder and death. It's a place of monsters, dangerous and cannot be controlled. The book of Revelation indeed speaks of a new heaven and a new earth and no longer any sea. To many of us, the sea represents a place of beauty, but there's no denying that it is also dangerous and that we cannot control it. But the Lord, in his robes, certainly can, and the sea itself lifts its voice in praise to God. Creation itself proclaims that God is king. Psalm 93 The Lord reigns, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established, firm and secure. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up, Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Your statutes, Lord, stand firm. Holiness adorns your house for endless days. I said earlier that in Hebrew the psalm is made up of just 45 words. In Hebrew thinking, this number is said to represent Adam or human beings. Perhaps for this reason the Greek translation of the psalms gives this introduction. For the day before the Sabbath... When the land was resettled, a praise, a song to David. Well, maybe this suggests that the older psalm was used as a hymn to celebrate the return of the people after the Babylonian exile. In truth, of course, we cannot know. But the psalm does remind us that life, for us, all of us, can be like being tossed around on the sea where monsters lurk and chaos and death seem inevitable. We cannot control events and sometimes we are at the mercy of the wind and the waves. But like Jesus on the boat on the Sea of Galilee, God is on his throne and even the wind and the waves will obey him. And if pro pro a creation proclaims that God is king, well then so too should the pinnacle of his creation, human beings. For our prayer today, I'm using the words of the famous Seafarer's Hymn. Although inspired by images of the sea in Psalm 107, which we haven't come to yet, it's appropriate, I think, also for today. Today's prayer, let's pray. Eternal Father, strong to save, whose arm does bind the restless wave, who bids the mighty ocean deep its own appointed limits keep, O oh, hear us when we cry to thee for those in peril on the sea. O oh, Trinity of love and power, your children's shield in danger's hour from rock and tempest, fire and foe, protect them wheresoe'er they go. Thus evermore shall rise to thee glad hymns of praise from land and sea. Amen.